Hey guys, Gokzone for the Winnie, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part today, we'll be going down the bike route and gain the HM for Fly. Now, once you beat the Celadon, or not Celadon, say the Saffron City Gym Leader, which we did last episode, that would be Sabrina, the Psychic Type Gym Leader. Um, go back to Celadon, and you have to go to the left. Now, actually, let me get on my bike here, because we will run a little faster. It doesn't look faster to me for some reason. It looks like running is way faster, but as you can see, there's a Snorlax blocking your way. Now, before we do that... Okay, make sure you have cut. I didn't have cut, so it's taught to Chaotic. I got rid of Slash. It's pretty much the same move, just uh, 30 or 20... Um, base attack weaker anyways go ahead and cut down that tree and there will be some trainers here I think I have chaotic no I have Jack Chan in the front so go ahead and fight these trainers and after you beat these trainers you will be able to obtain the HM for fly which is very very important uh, having fly in this game is like one of the most necessary HMs Mo almost every HM is necessary but having fly you don't need it necessarily to get through the game but it's very helpful game from town to town anyways this is gonna be a double battle which I'm actually kind of surprised about. So we're going to go ahead and go for Rock Tomb. Let's double up on this Rapidash right here. Anyways, guys, that's Snorlax block blocking the path. If you didn't go to the Pokemon Tower and get the Poke Flute yet, then you won't be able to wake him up. That's what you need to wake up that Snorlax, or he'll just block your way. Snorlax is a very good Pokemon, though, if you want to catch him. Um, a very good, bulky, super strong Pokemon. We did take down that Rapidash there, though. And Ninetales is the last one. Rock Tomb's going to come out now. And hopefully take him out in one shot. Nice. Okay. Jackie, Strand, Jackie Chan, very strong Pokemon. Again, if you want to teach him Rock Tomb, that's a very good choice. Rock Tomb, one of the better Rock type moves in the game. So we're going to take down these guys right here. Get a few dollars. And after you beat them, of course, go through here and you'll be able to obtain the HM for Fly in this little house here. Now, personally, myself, I'm not really... Oh, God. What is this thing? Is this thing a Fero? Oh god, that's an ugly spray. Holy crap, that looks like a peacock. But anyways, I usually get, got confused when I was little, or no, I did get confused when I was little as to where you found Fly, and I didn't know you had to come to this little house over here. It's kind of a little bit hidden, but um, that's where you get Fly, and let me go ahead and teach this to my Fero. Okay, so once you teach your Pokemon Fly, you can either teach it to like pretty much any flying type in this game, except for Gyarados, I'm pretty sure. So like any bird Pokemon. If you don't have a bird Pokemon, you can't catch Doduo in this patch of grass right here, so you could definitely do that. It's like a 35% catch, or not catch rate, encounter rate. So it's pretty good. I would recommend doing it if you would like. Uh, you could also catch Rattata, Spiro, and uh, Raticates in there as well. Now this Snorlax. If you want to go ahead and wake him up, you do need the fl Poke Flute, so beautiful tune here. I love the Poke Flute in this game. I, I don't know um, if there's any, like, Gen 1, Gen, like, Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire, or not Pokemon Leaf Green, like Pokemon Green and Red. Um, the tune's not really that pleasant. I don't really like 8-bit sounds. 16-bit sounds are pretty pleasant, though. Um, and also the X and Y Poke Flute. Now, this guy will come out as level 30, and he is a decent Pokemon if you want a physical, bulky mon. Now, personally, myself, I'm just going to go ahead and kill it, because I want the EXP, and I'm not going to use Snorlax in this playthrough. So, um, that's almost going to one-shot him. He is super weak to uh, fighting types, because he is a normal type, so you have to watch out for that. But as you can see, he has some pretty great attack stats as well so if you want to pick him up headbutt very good stab move and it's probably one of the best moves that you could have on Snorlax in this game besides body slam I think it learns body slam as well so pretty decent Pokemon but okay sorry about this little cut in the video guys my computer restarted and updated out of nowhere I think I clicked update at night and it's like 3 when I'm recording this 3 a.m. so it restarted and it cut off my recording luckily I still have my uh, recording going or had it going when I turned back on my computer but anyways this is the bicycle route you do need a bike so if you don't have a bike go ahead and check out one of my older walkthroughs you'll find it's somewhere there I don't know remember which um, number it is but uh, yeah you can pick up the bicycle in Vermilion City I'm pretty sure so you can go ahead and do that or not Vermilion City you need to pick up the bike voucher in Vermilion City and then go back to Cerulean City and pick up the bicycle but anyways first grunt here now all of these grunts are gonna be having grimers they're gonna be having coughings uh, pretty much like most poison types and fighting types they're also gonna have chops and stuff but anyways I'm gonna stay in here and go for some rock tombs I do want to get Jackie Chan up to level maybe 32 or so in this uh 
episode just because I don't really like level grinding off screen. It's not really the f most fun thing in the world, but um, it's sometimes necessary. But hopefully I can get some levels up so it's not necessary for me to do that. And grammar speed's gonna keep falling here. Again, this is what I love about Rock 2. When you use it, it does lower the Pokemon's speed. So if a Pokemon is faster than you the first turn, he won't be faster than you the second turn, which is nice. But anyways, this guy's gonna have a Grimer and a Coughing on his team, both level 29. And like I said before, the game is gonna get harder at this point because there's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna use a bulk up here. There's gonna be a lot more higher level Pokemon for you to deal with. And again, there were lower levels of Pokemon before, so it will be a little more challenging, of course. Now, Sludge is going to almost take us out there. I thought we were going to be able to live that, but we are going to get poisoned, and Jack and going to go down. Well, there goes my uh, bulk up strategy. We're just going to get taken out. As you can see, um, if you don't have uh, Pokemon over level 35 or something, you won't be able to Oko anymore, which kind of sucks, but hopefully... Um, my Jolji on here, level 34, will be able to Oko this coughing. I think we might be able to, because coughing, super bulky Pokemon is defense, but his special defense is not really the greatest in the world. Now, we are going to get some EXP points there, and Biker Leo, Leo, I think that's how you pronounce it, his name is going to go down. Now, there are a lot of bikers on this route. Uh, I think I'll do one more battle, and I think I'm going to skip through the rest of them, because... Again, there are a lot of bikers on this route, and I don't really feel like going through a 20 minute episode just battling uh, man keys and coughings and stuff. But anyways, we're going to stay in here with SSJ Coco because I didn't switch out into a Pokemon, and honestly, I want to get SSJ Coco to at least level 35, so uh, probably my second choice to level up over Jackie Chan. Now, Jolteon, one of the best electric type Pokemon in the game. I will be Okoing a lot of these Pokemon. Um, Machop? I think it has better special defense than Mankey, so I don't know if this will Oko exactly. If you want to have a Mankey on your team, just bear in mind that his defenses are not the greatest in the world, but his attacks, that's pretty good, so... Uh, if you want to choose him over Machop, you can, but Machamp, again, one of the better choices for fighting types. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fight all these Grunts, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I finally took out the Grunts there, or not Grunts, I called them Grunts before, they're Bikers, not Grunts. But I'm gonna switch out SSJ Coco because he did go up to level 36, which is super, super amazing. I didn't think he would uh, make it up to that level that quickly throughout those few battles. Um, watch out though, because this Grunt and this Grunt here, I'm pretty sure, I think it's those two Grunts. Uh, one of them has two level 28. Um, Weezings, another one has a level 33 Weezing. Now, once you beat those Grunts, though, come down here, and if you don't hold your, uh, D-pad, you will just automatically go down. So, it's a little weird. I think it's going downhill, I'm pretty sure. But I have no idea. I don't understand why these Grunts are able just to not fall over when going downhill. They're just able to go in circles. It's kind of weird, like this one right here. But anyways... We're going to get into this first battle here. In that patch of grass, though, if you guys were wondering, it's pretty much the same as the other patch of grass I showed you guys earlier. You can catch those duos, patatas, spiros, radicates. Pretty plain and simple. But anyways, this guy's going to have a man key, so I'm going to use Dragon Rage, hopefully two-shot it, maybe even three-shot. Uh, yeah, it's going to two-shot him, nice. There are a lot of grunts, or not grunts, I keep calling them grunts for some reason. We've been fighting rocket grunts for the last, I think, three or so episodes, close to that. Um, maybe two, no, 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 last episode we fought Jim Lee, the last two episodes though, I'm pretty sure we fought Grunts, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of bikers on this road, so watch out for that, stock up on potions and stuff, because if you don't have potions, you will have to go back and heal, and going back up this hill is not fun at all, I do not recommend doing that whatsoever, and this guy's gonna use Fairy Swipe on us, the Fairy Swipe is kind of a weird move to have on Primeape, I don't know how he would be able to swipe us with those circled hands right there. He has like boxing gloves on. But Roshi's going to go up to level 35 which is nice and Twister. Now Twister is a decent dragon type move. It is like base 20, no base 40. So I am going to teach it to him though because he does still have tackle on him which is not really the best move in the world so I do recommend getting rid of that. But anyways we're going to go ahead and get Twister on our Gyarados and one thing that I'm wondering, can Gyarados like keep um, splash on him when he evolves. I don't know for sure. I can't remember if my Gyarados kept splash or yeah, splash on him. That would be kind of weird if you had a splash Gyarados. I don't know if that's possible or it just automatically gets rid of it when you evolve. 
But anyways, back to the bikers right here. This guy's gonna have a wheezing. Now, I don't know what these guys have. I only knew what the uh, guys at the beginning of the bike road had for Pokemon. So this is gonna be a surprise for me and you guys. Anyways, we're gonna use Water Pulse though, because again, these guys have the worst defense in the world, and damn, actually, we can tank that up quite nicely. Um, Gyarados doesn't have the best special attack in the world, so that kind of makes sense, but hopefully, we can take him out. Nah, we didn't get taken out of two shots. I was hoping for a crit, but we did get the confusion, which is nice. Hopefully, he hits himself. Maybe? Nice. The RNG is in my favor this time. I usually get hit by confusion, but this time, the computers are getting hit, which is actually great. So Weezing's gonna go down there and a decent amount of EXP. This bike route, amazing if you want to train up one of your lower level Pokemons. Um, if you have a fighting type that you want to train up, this is why I'm not training up Jack and Chan right now or I didn't go heal them up, is because you won't be able to get that much EXP out of the bike route for fighting type Pokemons considering there's pretty much only poison types. There are a few fighting types here and there, but it's mostly poison types. And fighting isn't really the most effective move against poison types so or most effective type not move it moves too but yeah i don't recommend training up your uh fighting types on this route it's not really useful and i'm actually gonna go for a dragon rage i want to see how much more damage this does Weezing does have a lot of hp so okay it's gonna two shot him nice but he is a low level so i mean he's not gonna have the most exp in the world and we got poison that's another thing you guys should stock up on you guys should stock up on a lot of antidotes because you're definitely going to be struggling here with game poison and stuff and personally myself i don't like hearing the poison sound and i don't think you guys eat too either because it's a very annoying sound to deal with in this game that's why i like that they took it in gen 6 anyways let's go ahead oh god you can't press the menu uh we gotta get up here we gotta get up here to heal him up <laughs> okay let's go ahead and i don't know if i actually have antidotes on me i do have a full heal though which is nice so let's go ahead and use that on Roshi so he doesn't get hurt by poison anymore and we're gonna go switch out because he is a little health and he is a decently high um, level at this point okay let's get up to chaotic to maybe because he is a ground type so if you have a ground type uh, definitely good for taking out Grimers and stuff not coughing and reasons because it has to levitate but I'm gonna try to get my chaotic to level 40 here and the biker's gonna have a mock perfect for my chaotic nice not a Weezing or anything, so Muck doesn't have, um, I think it, yeah, Levitate, he doesn't have Levitate, so that's great. I think he has Poison Touch or something, so I do have to watch out for that, and, okay, in the games, that's gonna be one of the most annoying things to deal with when you're fighting, I think just Mucks, I don't know if Grammars do it, but they do minimize, which lowers your Pokemon's accuracy pretty much, it hires their evasion, the Pokemon is using minimize, which, uh, lowers the accuracy of your moves, which sucks. But hopefully we don't miss here, and hopefully he doesn't use Minimize again. Use Disable, okay, nice, and it's gonna miss. Are we gonna hit? Cool, okay. So Muck's gonna go down here, and hopefully we can get pretty close to level 38. I do want to get Chaotic leveled up fast for the next gym battle that we have. Um, it will be a Poison-type gym layer, so that's something that you guys should keep in mind when you're... Ooh, is that item? No, it's just a trainer. I don't think we really have to fight him, but I'm gonna go up anyways.